where you have like the hard point on the roof and there are right. multiple players exactly. going through that hard point and you're just putting shots in with the EM1 with the laser beam and you just put a few into this guy and a few into this guy and play you just like, and let your, yeah, you play for the assists and you let your teammates clean that up yeah. and that's you know a play style that you can actually adopt now and um, you know Jared with the <laughs> dual heavy weapons don't really I, I don't really have a solution no. That, that would be effective for, but you know, I'm I don't, sure I don't know. Find I, one. <laughs> there, there has to be one at some point in this game where I mean, you can dual wield that, those SMGs, those uh, heavy weapons. The small hard point, the small corridor hard point. You can argue that hard point as well. Mm -hmm. If you get inside with those dual MGs, oh, yeah. just sit there and spray and pray yeah. those bad boys. I think that would actually be a pretty useful. We just scenario. found it, Astro. Yep, there, there we go. go. See, There's one. exactly what we're talking about. So. Speaking of Hardpoint, we're actually going to be playing some, oh, well, we'll be spectating some Hardpoint while the boys over at Epsilon and Envy, they're going to be playing in some Hardpoint action. And obviously these two teams, very, very familiar with how Hardpoint works. So hopefully we'll uh, get to see how quickly they've adapted to Hardpoint on Advanced Warfare because it is very different. Astro. Yeah, you and I were, were casting the other day and we got to kind of announce Hardpoint is back. Yes. It is absolutely back and it is playing amazing on the one map that we have here. The map is called a riot, and you and I have enjoyed it just so, so much. It's such a good map for hardpoint, I personally feel. You know, it shows off the verticality as well, the rotation points. It really is putting these teams straight on the edge because at first I think everyone was kind of playing it how it used to play in Black Ops 2. So it was kind of a, you know, that's slight tempo, and then players immediately realized, hey, we can't play like that. We need to change yeah. up the place. And you and I are, are really, we've discussed this, I think, a couple times, but I don't think we've actually come to the conclusion, but I feel like the anchor position is back where you have to anchor the spawns and kind of, yeah. you, know, you know, if you're kind of the guy setting up on the rotation, you kind of anchor the spawn and allow your teammates to spawn in next to you and get closer to that hard point. Agree. I feel like that's in play here again However, in Advanced Warfare. I feel like it's a much more difficult role to play now. It used to be where you could you kind of just sit watching one lane. Exactly, you have more cover. You could just watch sort of one lane and just hold that spawn. Yeah, obviously, it was a difficult role. I'm not saying it was easy by any means because mm -hmm. it, it was a very, very important role. But now, with the exoskeleton and, and the boost jumping and, and all the, the exo the abilities, speed. the speed, exactly that, the speed, you're just going to get rushed now. Yeah. So it's going to be so much more difficult to hold down those spawns. So realistically, right. you could see teams actually adapt. Maybe a two acre system, maybe? Yeah, Who does, knows? Yeah, well, does it, does, it, does it come to the point where you just stack the hard point? Exactly. You know, yeah. when you just try to get in as much as possible? I don't know. We'll see how it kind of plays out. We haven't seen as many games as, as it's going to take to tell, but here we are. On Riot, it's going to be the game mode Hardpoint back in Advanced Warfare, and we have Jcap on your screen. Yeah, Jcap, very, very weak already. Could have popped his stim, decided against it, and going to pay the price right there. Jcap arguably should have popped it. Meanwhile, Formal, he's popped his ping, and he's in the middle of the hill. Already Envy with a big lead. You can see exactly there what ping is going to do. Highlights those plays in red as soon as they use any exo abilities. Smoke grenades being used, and Swanee's just going to lie there. We haven't seen too many smoke grenades come out, but this is a nice strategy. You pop a smoke grenade at the entry point for the other right. team when you control the hard point. They have to come through the smoke, and they don't have no idea where you are. Exactly that. Merc's still going to be rocking with exo shield as well on his class setup, and he's going to go for a little bit of a rotation now. And the hard point is going to rotate. However, it is going to be Epsilon with the early advantage, and this is not good for Envy. They're all actually stacked on that one side. And Smoke Grenade actually on the hard point as well, and I'm pretty sure that's Epsilon that are doing that. So by doing that, they are forcing Envy to challenge the hard point. They're not going to allow, you know, Formal's accuracy to get anywhere <laughs> Jud. Oh, Jud, he's brought out the Tech 19, hasn't he? Okay, tech, that Tech 19 is just so good. So let's hear it. You're going to see it in action. Boom! Oh, he's not oh, going to the jump! Oh, Jud. <laughs> Added so some wrong. swag to the That's kill. So wrong. Meanwhile, Tommy, he's going to be on top of that hard point. He is going to get shut down. And you're going to see him try and rotate now. 25 seconds. He thought about potentially pushing that hard point and then realized it may not really be worth his time. So he's going to try and set up on the next hard point. And I think Jared is still using that Tac 19. And obviously, it's a shotgun like no other that's ever been in the Call G franchise. It doesn't actually fire bullets, it fires a sort of pulse of energy, if you will. A stim is popped here by Tommy as well. Yep, so he did pop that stim. Actually, he took it off right there and he decides to put it back on. I'm, I'm not sure what the decision that was there for Tommy, but... He's pulled out hey. a sniper rifle now, though. I just saw him rage change class because he saw Formal with a sniper. He was like, well, I'm going to snipe you back. Oh, grenade right there next to Jern. <laughs> Jern is going to come out with the shotgun again, and now he's... Go for that's Formal with the double sniper combo, the Morse sniper and the pistol out. So here we go, Formal trying to pick up these scopes with the Morris doesn't make it happen. I thought he was going to go for a 360 oh, then. Oh my right god, there. that would have been dirty. I, I just had this vision of a 360 no-scope and, and Formal hitting it, because that's just the kind of look he sometimes gets as he picks up one. Can he find another? He misses his shot. 
Oh, two players over there, and I believe that's Tommy who just slapped it back. Yep, then you see Envy has the lead, but Junior, <laughs> <Meanwhile. laughs> Junior coming through with the Tech 19, oh, no. picking up another kill. And that now this is nice like game. a, this shotgun actually doesn't shoot shells, I don't believe. It shoots like a big pulse wave. Yeah. And that big pulse wave has a really big width right now. And, you know, a lot of the players are saying it's actually very, very fun to use, and it's very effective in hardpoint. Almost still with a sniper rifle and the one-shot pistol combination, as he's going to try and rotate. He's actually seen someone as well. So we may get to see a double boost shot. He's gonna see him on the left-hand side. Paul with oh. the pistol doesn't miss. Nicely played. Picks up that one. Now is he gonna charge the hard point from down below? Pulls out the pistol once again. Cannot get the shot off in time though. He does go down. Envy actually with the lead. However, it is Epsilon with the hill control. Judge still rocking that TAC-19. And I love this play from him. This is a perfect hard point to actually use that on as he does get EMP'd. Obviously hardwire would help, but it doesn't matter. Judd, as I said before, does what he wants. Even if he's EMP'd, it's hard to shut him down. And he's got himself a nice little score streak. All right, here comes the care package. Let's see if he he's actually gonna run away to from come me. in. Come on, watch, watch it, Judd. Oh, here it comes. There we go. Bang! Oh. So badass. Yeah, it's so, it really is. It's a looks like a big meteor coming down from the sky. It's an orbital care package coming up from uh, much higher than just the sky from outer <laughs> space this time. And he does have the turret now. So yeah. turret back into play here in Advanced Warfare. We saw a lot of this in Black Ops 2. You know, you had a turret. You can lay down and uh, let's see what Jerd decides to do with it. Oh, great movement out here from Jerd. He's gonna pop that shield now as well. But oh, no, the snipe snipe coming from in. Formal from as he formal. picks up two. Two coming in from Formal. Very nice place. Nice as he looks over towards the right hand side, expecting plays to change spawn. There's the third for Formal now. That's three kills in quick succession. Can he make it four? Yes, he can. This is what we're talking about with Formal and a sniper rifle. Goes for the double jump sideways and recognizes that the spawns have changed. Can he find another kill? No, he can't. Get the melee attack. I this that is one. the Jer versus Formal show right now, I have a feeling. <laughs> sniper shoddy battle. Oh, there we go. still with the shotgun. Oh, look at the smoke played. grenades coming out of Jerv. He's just popping smoke on himself, really forcing Envy to come to him. This is a smart strategy, really, because he knows they have to run at him. He has a shotgun in hand. Oh, and the mechanics there coming in. He tried to get that little slide to the right-hand side, but sadly, it wasn't enough. And Formal, once again, with the sniper rifle. It, insane action between these two teams Yeah, right I'm now. really glad we have both these teams right now to show the game, because you know they, they use a lot more movement mechanics, and they're really already kind of getting used to it, right? Right. And, it, it, all the teams here at Gamescom have that, and it's been just such a joy to watch. But right now, they're really these guys are kind of going above and beyond in some of the matches that we've seen before. Because right, the they really teams, are the other teams have been kind of really, yeah. It, this is more of just a showcase. The other teams have been really kind of going at it hard, trying to yeah. win. And this is just kind of a hey, let's this just is also show scrap it off. fest, really. But they actually are, you know, kind of going at it right now. This is a serious oh. game. <laughs> Somebody just got facial right there by the Moors. Jacob just got destroyed by Tommy, I, I believe that was, who's still using that sniper rifle four times around with the pistol and cleans house. He's actually using cloak as well, so we may actually get to see some fancy stuff. This is so good two, with the red dot. Three, oh. Get him on the ball! Oh, Formal <laughs> missed it. So good. That would have been absolutely nasty as he gets challenged. Finally, Formal goes down. Merc, well, <laughs> he's just sat on the hard point. Oh, and oh, he misses the no-scope. Gets the melee attack. Can he find the other player who was on the hard point? He's going to get two assists with the UAV. And Merc, he's having fun. Even he's right out of the sniper right Oh, he knows point. they're coming right now. They're about to turn the corner here. And we're going to jump on board Jerd. Jerd's coming up top. He's going to drop down. Merc's actually behind him. But they're already rotating to the other hard point as it has switched. And up top on the roof here, you're going to see the NV players. But Jerd, again, with the colorblind assist, that is back in Call of Duty. It's going to be able to give any of those people out there wanting to play Advanced Ooh. Warfare who have, uh, you know, they are colorblind or have, you know, eye restraints and really you know, helps this out. is going to help out for them. Yeah, absolutely. Is that Jerd? Well, he's oh, about no. to die a very miserable death, I have a feeling. You have to lock onto the exosuit with this uh, oh, stinger. Jed, any anytime you're ready, Jed. But he decided against <laughs> it, pulls out the shotgun. And he's got for a 360 as well. Just to add extra insult to injury. He's not going to connect with anything. Formal back on board with him with a sniper rifle. Is he going to be able to find anyone? Well, I feel like we have to disregard the score in this game and just put up like the judges' sign. Like, uh, yeah, you know, right. Nine. Who, who had more swag in the game? <laughs> yeah. who, who did it with more style points? Swagger points. Oh, formal! That was such a nice shot. Only saw the, the small millimeters of that Epsilon player's head. And uh, I have a feeling, actually, he's just in, he's in a groove now. He's just in that role. And he, look how confident he's going to charge with a pistol, slides, lies down. But yeah, you kind of yeah. run into a wild judd with a shotgun, really. Yeah. That's, that's never going to end well. So the TAC-19 proven uh, very effective here for Jared. I wonder what his score is at the moment. <laughs> so I'm sure he's actually near the top of the leaderboard because it he's been doing me. some work. He really has, he, even with that, obviously, TAC-19, it limits his uh, 
range somewhat. He's still playing very, very well and obviously having a lot of fun as well. Oh. Oh, very close to 30 kills. I hear it. Jeff picks up one, picks up two. Nicely played. Can he find the third as well with the shot? And he went for the double jump. That would have been absolutely insane to see on Envy not allowing him to pick that one up. As formal, considering he's sniping and, and one shot pistoling, almost at 30 kills. That is insane. Right yeah, now. and they're already rotated oh, to this next hard Lord. point. Not missing right he's there. He's at 30 right now. Yeah, 30 kills on the board now. And there's formal. still two minutes to play. 40 bomb with a sniper rifle inbound, maybe? I don't know. Oh, maybe? this is that one. Oh, nice shot there. I just love the way that Formal plays with a sniper rifle, though, because as soon as he fires, he immediately pre aims where he anticipates another player to come from, drops down onto the hard point with a pistol. <laughs> Guess <again>. who? <laughs> <laughs> just, just like they're saying, yep, I'm going to wait for you, buddy. Well, we haven't seen much of a maybe Tommy. I'd like to maybe switch to Tommy, see what he's up to. Merc was using something crazy right there. I think that was actually the BAL, if I'm not mistaken, that, that uh, Merc was using. But yeah, here's Tommy. Tommy's got the Morris as well. And he's got a turret equipped for his force treatment as he boost jumped right there. He got taken down. So he's going to pull that sniper out once again. And maybe rotate. Let's see if we can find another player here. Maybe try out Swanee, see what he's rocking. I have uh, a feeling Swanee is going to be super serious as ever. He's playing very, very well. Jcap about to drop 30 as well. You see him there with 28 kills currently. And he has a minute left to try and find that 30th kill. Envy as well. Do have the lead in this hard point game going into the last minute. And it has just become mathematically impossible for Epsilon to win, so now it's just a little bit about pride. Can, Can we take a look at uh, Swanee? I actually want to see what Swanee's rocking. There he is. I what did I tell you? He's got a red dot this time, but he was using earlier today the Target Enhancer, which is right. very similar to the Target Finder from Black Ops 2. It's, yep. uh, it's very similar, but it's got a new twist on it. So it's uh, actually a really cool kind of concept. Actually, I just realized it isn't mathematically impossible. They canceled it by just one point as long as the hot point doesn't get contested. So. Envy, do you need to just get on that hop one by one second, I believe? Uh, no, they can't no, do it. No, they can't do it. Yeah, it's a couple right. seconds. It just got contested, so there it is. Uh, Envy's going to take this map again. You oh. know, it's just the showcase here at Gamescom, and both these teams are really giving a go at showing you all that Advanced Warfare has to offer. Great snipes here out of both these teams, and great shotgun play out of Jared <laughs> as we switch back to him. And he's oh. still doing work, doing his thing, oh. and oh, Nearly almost grabbed him. that one. Uh, that was quite enjoyable to watch, Benson. It, it really was Hasbro. I mean, we had everything. Sniping, shotgunning, some AR play, some SMG play. Formal ultimately dropping 34 kills with a sniper rifle and a pistol combo against yeah. one of the best teams in the world. Obviously, you know, there was a couple of, of fun moments there. Tommy sniping as well, it's worth mentioning. So everyone really having fun, hopefully giving you guys at home and here at Gamescom a good showcase and look at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the, the massive amount of variety and customization you can really include. You know, we talked a lot about the class customization, but what we haven't really touched on is the soldier customization as well. You can customize your soldier now in so many different ways. I sat down and when I was playing, I was like, oh, let's have a look at the customization. Honestly, you can customize pretty much everything now. Yeah, we, they mentioned in the uh, multiplayer reveal, we had Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, the founders of Sledgehammer Games. They were talking to press and the public about what you can do with character customization. There are now a billion combinations, over a billion combinations of the way you can make your character look. Wow. And what's cool about that is you can actually make them look that way when you play multiplayer. So if you take, you know, cool pair of sunglasses in or some like knee pads or I don't know, you know, your, your exosuit, you right. customize all that stuff, different colors, skins, all these different things. And when you play multiplayer, your character will actually take that into the battlefield in MP. That's so, so cool. you're, yeah, we think that's awesome. That, and, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, so those are all things that you can do, and those loot drops will contribute to the new gear that you can get. Right. Well, right now, Vincent, I think we actually have an interview down on the floor. We're going to go ahead and throw it down to Golden Boy. He's going to have somebody with you. All right. So, yes, Hasho, I actually have one of our spectators here from Gamescom 2014. This is Lucas. Lucas, how you doing, my friend? I'm fine. Awesome stuff. So, uh, from my understanding, yes, you have had an opportunity to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, what do you think of the game? Um, the game is really good. I got really fast into the game. Um, that's probably because I'm familiar with code. I don't think... Uh, I think it will be awesome if uh, when it's launched. And there will be pretty much... A bunch of people playing the game, right? What? A bunch of people playing the game, right? Yes, a bunch of people will play the game and it will be pretty awesome. 
Awesome stuff, man. Of course. So now, you know, you, you actually are a fan of esports, as a matter of fact. Uh, one of your favorite teams you and I were talking was Optic Gaming. So, uh, you know, I guess looking at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare from an esports perspective, uh, what do you think of it? Do you, like, for example, do you think Uplink will be a great game type for esports? Yes, Uplink is pretty much one of the best competitive gameplays for esports. It's like Blitz and Ghosts, or it's, yeah, it's no really other game mode that's like that awesome. It's really um, much competitive, uh, and it's really hard to get into it, because you have to have that much team play. And it's kind of like uh, Black Ops 2, right, when they had Hardpoint? And then now in uh, Advanced Warfare, they're bringing Uplink, right? So it's like a game type that's really fast-paced and now a new game type that's really fast-paced. Wouldn't you agree? Indeed. That's right. So now, Lucas, one final question for you. Are you enjoying yourself here at Gamescom? What? I don't understand you. Are you having a good time at Gamescom? Of course. The Gamescom is awesome and I have a really good time here. Awesome stuff. Well, Lucas, thank you so much for your time, buddy. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so with that said, we're going to take a look at some of the future technology that you're going to be using in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We'll see you guys with plenty more action, Epsilon versus Team Envy, in a few. Future tech in the game is going to bring all sorts of exciting new things to the player. We have things like the threat detection grenade. I can throw it and see somebody behind a wall, see where the enemies are. We also have this thing called the mobile barricade. 